As we later found out, the Border Patrol family never gave up on us. Eric and this village. Thank you all of you for, for, for being here and, and honoring my friend. Um, I know he's, he's watching over us and, and I'm sure he's, he's very grateful to have all of you here. And to the Cabral family, I want you to know that Eric will be memorialized in our hearts forever. Eric, his service, and his sacrifice will never be forgotten. As a supervisor, not to be able to help, not to be able to save one of your agents, it was tough. It was very difficult. Nothing in comparison to the family. Every July, when you're out here, it's so hot, and I there's this smell and this taste in here. What I do is I think about the one thing that I will always remember about Eric. And that's the smile he perpetually had on his face. This is, this is just a token of what's in our hearts, of what Eric did for us. Regardless of the political debate and regardless of the rhetoric that you hear coming out of Sacramento or Washington, D.C., you are appreciated. And we know that you are the front line of defending our country. So the argument can be made of you know, the type of people that want to come across our borders. But the bottom line is, is there, there is a certain number of bad people that do want to come across our board. And it's your job to have the discernment and the professionalism to make sure that our country is protected. And it's my responsibility to recognize that you put your lives on the line. For that, I say thank you to all of you.